Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics. Today I've got we've got some jobs on. We've got the Savannah monitors being collected. Um, I've got more water changes to do. We've got some animals to look after, some more jobs to do on them. So please like, subscribe, comment and share, ring that bell for me. Sub become a member of the tribe and I shall see you in a bit. So it's time, the driver's here now, so we've got to collect, collect? No, we've got to box up and get the um, Savannah monitor all boxed up, ready to go back to suppliers. Um, and then he can go and they can look after him and sort out his broken tail. And then we can sort out looking after our one. So uh, we're getting boxed up now and then we'll be raring to go. My little buddy, it's time to go. Go, go back to the suppliers. Yes, you do. Go in the tub for me. So you are definitely the one with the broken tail. Yes. There we go. Got to say goodbye to your buddy, mate. He's all boxed up, ready to go. Happy days. All boxed up and ready to go. <laughs> Big job I've got to do today. I've got to go around, I've got to clean the algae off the tanks and do some water changes. So if you're getting algae in your tank, it's usually because your lights are on too long. So algae feeds off sunlight and normal light and in your, your house lights. So the longer you have the lights on for, the more algae you're gonna get. So if your tank's by a window, that's no good because the sun is feeding the algae, so you need to move it. Um, and if your lights are on more than six to eight hours a day, you're promoting the algae. So what I tend to do is, that if you haven't got plants, the light is just for us. So the fish don't need the light at all, it's just for us. So if you've got no plants, just have it. So when you come home from work, the tank comes on. When you go to bed, it goes off. So the light's on when you're actually there. Because some people have it on the timer, come on in the morning and it's off at the, by the time they get home. And the light's off then, and it's, you're not enjoying the tank. So it's the best way to do it. So you haven't got to, you haven't got to worry about algae, you haven't got to worry about anything then. So I've got to go around and clean the algae, because some of them are getting a bit algae fired. So we're going to go around and do the algae, we're going to do some water changes, so I'll be raring to go, get all the fishies happy. Hello fishies, do you mind if I clean please? And go, do 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 do. So that's yeah, like, so the algae off the back. Just a little scrubbies, here's the blade. Maybe it just wants to go behind stuff. Oh, lovely. Oh, stuck, there we go. And we go down here like that, nice and clean. We do here as well, nice and clean. I think that's on the other side of the glass. We do the front. Sorry, fishes, excuse me, pop a voir. Excuse me, excuse me, and go. Scrubby, scrubby, scrubby. And then we've got a nice clean tanko. You've got an algae duties as well, mate. There you go, two man job today. We're both going to be fighting the algae, working hard. Can we see his little mouth? Oh, look, there we go, teamwork today. Me and Mr. Snail cleaning the algae. Everybody nice and clean, just got to do some water changes now. So not on everybody, but I think the top row does need a water change today. Uh, and then I've got to go around and got to clean these ones as well. Uh, so I'm manic today. We're going to have a little break. We're going to have a little bit of the handle of the granite spotted python. See how she's doing, see how he's getting on. And just see how he's getting on. Ooh. So. She's always under the plant. There she is, or he is. I'm okay. There we goes. Hello, beautiful. Should we get a better position? Should we get a better look at you? I think so, because we're all blurry. Here is our granite spotted python. Really, really nice. Doing really well, ain't you, darling? You having a little explore on my desk? Oh, what's that? A little bit of leaf. Oh, she's really, really nice looking. She's got a blue tinge to her as well. 
You come okay, you're okay. You're okay. You're okay. We're only holding you. See? She's going mad for it. I don't know why she's going mad. You're okay, darling. We're only doing handling training. So we're just going to pick you up and put you down. That's what we're going to do. We're going to pick you up and we're going to put you down. See? It's handling training. That's all we're doing, darling. So we put you down see nothing bad happens. We pick you up. See, she's getting better each time. She's not flinching as much. It's just repetition and training. So we put her back down again. We pick her back up. See, it's fine, isn't it, darling? See, you're settling in now, getting used to everything. Because she's only a baby snake. So it's easy for her to get scared, it is. Isn't it, my lovely? Yes, it is. It's easy for you to get scared. So we want to do everything really slow to make sure everything's okay. And we don't stress you out, isn't it, darling? So we'll put you down again. Let you chill out for a sec. Then we'll pick you up again. Well, a little bit curly that time. But she didn't flinch. So you're behaving, you're doing well, and she hasn't bit me. She doesn't think I'm food. No, she did the other one. That's perfect, that is. She realised I wasn't food and turned the other way. So that is absolutely the best case scenario. Especially when you're training, ain't you, darling? You're learning. You're learning. You're a learner, Snake, ain't you? You're a learner. Oh, just trying to go off the edge. You can't go off the edge, my lovely. She has got the most beautiful eyes going. I really do think she's got stunning eyes. Very nice. Stays quite small. She gets to about four or five foot, I'd say, on the big side. Really cool, nice snake. And you'd be really good. She's still not head tame, so I can't touch her on the head. See? She's so not head tame yet. She's a little bit small for doing head taming. But we can do the repetition of picking her up, putting her down. We don't do it for very long. We do like 10 minute stints. So I'm only going to do, I'm only showing you today, so we only do a little short stint. But eventually she'll be fine you can pick her up anytime and she knows oh I'm just being picked up it's fine nothing bad's gonna happen so she's not strikey or anything which is really good so I think you've done well there darling we'll end it on a good note and we'll put you back come on then my lovely oh you are a beautiful snake I have to admit there you go my lovely we've got to give you a spray I'll put your bush back for you. She loves a bush. What have you got in your hide? You don't usually go in there. So we'll give her a spray and that's all her job's done for today. I've already done the water. Poo! Oh, that's actually we in a theory. Oh, that's, a bit, that's a bit abrupt, isn't it? That's better. Nice, fine spray. So we're aiming for about 60% humidity for the tropical snakes is a good way to go. So the corn snakes, the royals, and everything like that, they shed the best and they do the best about 60% humidity. Hasn't got to be constantly on 60% humidity, but you've got to be aiming for it. For example, now, this tank will go up to 60, 65% humidity, then will slowly dry out throughout the day. We give them a spray on the night time again, that pumps it back up to 65, it dries out over the night, we get a spray in the morning. So it's not at it constantly, but we constantly put it back up to the right uh, amount that we need. Quickly do some water changes, then I want to do a big move. So I've got a new freezer in the back that I want to bring forward, and that's going to be our reptile food freezer. So I want to separate it again. I don't like having the fish food and the reptile food in the same fridge, I don't like it. So uh, it makes no difference, but I just don't like it, so it's my opinion. So uh, I want another fridge in here now. So what we might have to do, I need to find space for it. I'm very, very tight on space. So I do have a little nook and cranny down here, but it's not big enough. But if we turn this and then move it a little bit, it will give us the room for the freezer. 
So that's what we might do. So we might have to move this croc skink tank just a smidge, just a little smidgey, and then put the uh, freezer in, and then we can move all the stuff across once it's frozen, obviously. Um, and then we can do some more moving around because I need to get set up ready for the big job in the back room. <laughs> So they're all topped up and ready to go. So what I have to be doing, I found a new spot for me microwave because I'm meant to move stuff. So my microwave now lives under here. But what I've got to do, I've got to check that it's okay being there because I'd like to have kids at one point and if I've got a microwave right where I stand, it might not be good. So it might not be able to stay there because I don't want to cook anything that's not meant to be cooked. So um, what we're going to have to do is maybe find another space for that, but it can stay there for now. But what we're going to have to do is now we're going to move the fridge, because the microwave was on the fridge, so we have to move the microwave first. Yeah. So uh, we've got the fridge to get now. We've got Mr. Fridge-o. Mr. Freezer-o. I keep saying it wrong. I ain't got Meg to correct me this problem. So we've got the freezer, not the fridge. So I'll move the freezer. I'm going to put it in there now. And then move the uh, clock skink and try and fit it in. So that's what we're going to try and do. Hey, Fridgey, come on, Fridgey, come on, we need to go. Come on, Fridgey. Okay, dragging it, it's probably not going to be the best idea. Uh, I've got something with wheels. Wah ha ha. Wheelie truck, so we can move it on that. Wah ha ha. Through the doors, it's too big, it's too big, too big. We'll put it back, put it back, put it back. The tricks work, so I'm just going to have to carry it. It's in. It's here, it's not in, it's here. <laughs> so, move this bad boy, try and fit this in. I haven't even measured or anything, so I'm literally just going for it. Not checking anything, just gonna go for it, see what happens. Okey-dokey then, so we want some nice slow movements. <laughs> Oh, I'm a nubty and I. Who is that? It's heavy and now the water's in there. Oh, that's a heavy thing. I'm seeing stars. <laughs> Make and it's really hard. <laughs> oh, so we've got a sack of cables. It's all over the place. Oh. I think we do have enough room now. So I'm going to sort the boilers out and we're trying to do everything else. So she's in and she's running. I ain't too keen on it. So I'm not sure yet. Really, I don't know. Really don't know. Can't see because of the sticks. I don't know, mine too keen. Doesn't know why. I think it blocks too much of that. I do. Yeah, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. I don't know if that'd be better sideways. Mmm. Let me know if it looks below like that, or should I turn it and have it lengthways like it was before? Let me know what you think. Uh, so I'm not sure what to do now. I'll leave it like that for now, let me know what you think, and then 
If loads of people agree on the same thing, I'll do that. Rise, we've got rescue fishes. Fishes in the bucket. Doo, doo, doo. Oh, there we go, there's the fishes. So we're gonna acclimate them in the bucket. We're going to, I don't know what tank I'm gonna put them in yet. Because there's plenty of room in that one, isn't there, really? Um, we put them in there. I've got room in that one. Oh, that's the naughty boys in here. Yeah, yeah we can't put them in there. So we'll put them in this one, and then they should be fine. So I'll get some water out of here. We'll start acclimating them, because I've got, so I'll acclimate them in the bucket, and then I'll just net them out of the bucket straight into there. I'm acclimated, so all we've got to do now is net them up and put them in the tank. So I'll grab myself a net. They're not all tangled. Right. Uh -huh. So we're going to net them up, twist it round, plonk them in, untwist, and put it in. I'll change the Crowbar fishies. You can get two in the net. No, just one. There we go. So we do a little spin over. And that keeps him safe then from hurting himself. And we just release him like so. And he's away. Proper little job. Where's he going, mate? There we go. He's out and about now. So we've got this one in here now. The last fishy. Yep. It's a bit awkward because it's a telescopic net so it doesn't like twisting. That's better. Fishy! And off he goes. Hello little buddy! You're in the trees today? In the trees. Oh, a bit blurry that side. That's better. You out and about today, mate. Your burrows are all drained now, so you can go and hide. Oh, he heard me. He heard me say hide. Was that someone banging next door? That bang scare you next door, did it? Yeah, it could have been. Such a cool little lizard. Put some feed in for the flying geckos, see if they're hungry, see if they're going to come out and have anything. There we go, plenty in there now. So we've got one on the back over here. I really want them to get feeding because they're a little bit skinny. We've got one right at the top again. So I'll give them a spray and we'll let them go around and eat their buggies. Give them a good spray. They can have a drink. I can't spray that one because he's on the bulb. He's lifting his tail up. Mm. Don't know what he's lifting his tail up for. Doesn't want to get a wet bum. So there we go. We'll leave them to it now and they can go around and eat their buggies. And the new arrivals, they are very, very red. Really, really rich colours. Really, really nice. So we've got a boy again. Two boys. So we've got to watch they behave themselves as they've got to go in with the other boys. Uh, I'll show you how we identify them, because I've done that quite quickly then. It's literally, they'll have like a white speckle on their cheeks and on their fins, all down this bit, coming down on the front, they have the same speckles on the fins. Almost looks like isolated white spot. So, you, you, you could be, you'd be let off thinking it was white spot, to be fair. Uh, but because it's isolated on the cheeks and on the fins, we know that's just them showing off that they're male. He's having kisses from the koi. He does have a little lumpy bumpy on one side. But that's okay, we can deal with that. Where's the other one? There he is. Oh, he's a bit quick. He's a bit quick. Lovely fishy. Hello, everybody. That's all I've got time for today. I know it's a little bit shorter than normal, but it's, it's harder because the shop's getting busier and busier, so it's harder to do the filming. So uh, please like, subscribe, comment, and share, ring the bell for me, join the Snake Island membership team tribe thingy my bobby and then i'll uh if you want to watch another video there should be one there if you want to subscribe to the channel it's up there if you want to watch a playlist it's up there so i'll see you in the future bye